you want to to him. He's allowing all these assholes who need to pray more often than what they do right now then attack everybody else in the world. You owe him an apology and I expect to see one and hear one. Do you understand me? Do I have a say something after that? Do I have a say something after that? You can say something after that, but you better, hey, hey, hey. you better watch what you say. As I'm long not, as I'm saying, that, hey, you owe him an apology. Because he had faith in you. Give him an apology and mean it when you give it to him. Give him his apology. Now. Give it to him. Wait. The one thing I sincerely apologize. I apologize. I know, I know. I really want to get this out. I sincerely apologize. Baby, let me tell no, you. Wait, 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 wait. Because, okay. because this is a journey between me and him yes. this entire time. It is. I have, it to, is. I have to speak my piece too because everybody okay. can take me. Yes. Okay? Yes. So you gotta understand, I got feelings too. Yes. Okay? So regardless of what everybody else feels, the question was towards me. Here come Rachel with her bullshit. Her and Trey been sitting over there talking the entire time. I've been ignoring it. I've been ignoring the shit. I ain't been saying nothing. I ain't been side conversating. I ain't been doing nothing. This entire time I've held my own. The problem is, is there's several, it's not one person, it's several people attacking one person, and it's not fair to well, me. I was trying to tell everybody so, shut up several times. You did, but, but nobody question, was shut up. But the question, listen, was, the question was geared towards me and Mark. Here come Rachel. And I was like, Rachel, this is not the time because we can we, talk about this personally. But yes. everybody wants to talk in front of cameras and lights. I said, Rachel, I've reached out to you personally. She stood up and was getting ready to walk over to me, okay, to fight me because I said grandmother. I said, Rachel, you see, we, they we, only we hear what they want to hear yeah. because mm -hmm. they, they waiting for me to attack them, but I'm not attacking them. I said, Rachel, I said, my grandmother passed away too. I feel what you felt. Right. But you went in a group text and, and you went and attacked me instead of hitting me back. But you keep on using, oh, I was hurt. I was this and I was that. If you were so hurt, why wouldn't you just hit me back and say, Absolutely. right now, right, I appreciate it, but right now, I'm grieving. And I, and That's I, not I, what I, happened. I told Rachel. So then, so then, so then, so then, you picked you. her out. So then I told, so Avery starts mouthing off. I told yeah, Avery, I, I said, well, Avery, you added her back in, and that was wrong. So I said, but Rachel, right now, it's not the time. We already had the last segment. So I said, back to you, Mark. But then when I went back to Mark, here he go. Oh, well, see, the problem is, is, and I, and I, Devontae, I, I want you to understand, when you, when, when I said the production thing, I was well, I wasn't coming at you like that. Hey, hey, no, it was just it was just Mayday said that was a timeline between five days. It doesn't matter what the timeline was. It still was said after the fact that y'all was at the park. So it doesn't matter what day it was. 
It was the newbie dinner was not when the park came. It was after the park. And right. she said it again and brought it up again about him being broke. Right. She said it again. I after, watched uh, that. That was after uh actually after friends and Exactly. Like, oh. But and they had already talked about I, it. And I want to clear it up. But when it comes to me, okay. I'm the one in the wrong. All right. And the clear reason it up. why I said production is because a lot of them been coming back saying that you've been blaming production on the way you were I or the way you you were saying things or we make not necessarily we made you say something, but we mixing stuff up, we taking questions out of the different segments and put them in different segments. And I want to clear it up because I try my best to say everything, you do. You do. everybody yes. say, you do. I really do. Yeah, I because do. What, I'm what, a what I just told you. And I try to make sure that yes. nobody can say, because they already say that I, I play favoritism or that I do this and I do that. So I try to make sure, I don't even, I, I don't even, I barely even have time to even edit what we got. So I don't have time to I go understand. through all these questions to put stuff just to make petty bullshit. Places. I don't have time. No. The issue, I really don't. The issue is and I know, and, and, and I will say, and move through it. And because I know, I know you got time and production going on. I'm not trying to dwell on a question. I told Mark, I said, let's just leave it alone because we've already talked about it. And you did. It. You did. And Mark kept on going with it. And then after that, you bring your boyfriend out, your best friend out, and all these other people out that's with you to come and attack me and jump me and wait on you to jump me. And that's when I got mad because I'm like, I'm not doing this. That's not fair. We just said in the contract. No, you're not doing that because you wasn't raised. But, no, but that. even with that being said, we said in the contract, we're not going to stand up on people and right. fight people. And, 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 and the only reason why I got up, I wasn't finished and with the reason. I, I hate that yeah. I said okay. it that way. All right. I was just trying right. to take a breather. And that's right. what I wanted you to do. We fist the breather now. Hey, yeah. gentlemen, we fist the breather now. I'm going to be the intermediate here. I'm going to stand here in the intermediate. What did we just have? The conversation we had. It wasn't for everybody else. But the conversation we just had. Mm -hmm. I need you to be that. I need you to become that. I need you to empower that in you. Okay? You, you need to quit letting other people run you. This man has faith in you. You need to have faith in yourself. You know I know you better than that, don't you? You know I love you to death, and you know I will call your ass out every damn day of the week if you was doing something wrong, don't you? Well, let me ask you this question. But y'all need to get it together. From what you see, <laughs> haven't I owned up to everything that I've done thus far of all the questions I've been asked? I've you, owned you, up to you everything. Have. I, I even said I owned up to it. You have. Okay. And you told well, me now, this before is before you my, came. Uh, that you was gonna do that. All right. And I did. And you asked All right. Me what we now this is and what I, I this is what I need. This is what I need because I don't want to have to drive another 500 miles. Bullshit. I'm not good at it. I don't do bullshit well. I don't live bullshit, and I'm not gonna be in the middle of bullshit. You already know that, right? Never have been. If you gonna have a cast, besides that funky ass piece of paper, which evidently they not reading and don't give a damn about. You gonna have a cast that you believe in and you want true? I need you to get an outside. And I'm gonna say this real loud and real clear. I need you to get an outside person that's gonna be what? Your enemy. Because that's enough of this shit. It's okay that people got lives going on. It's okay that you got something on camera. It's okay you got something going on. I told you what you need to do. And I need you to do that real quick. Because you ain't going to be here much longer than People dying every day, and it ain't just from COVID. I work in that field. They dying every day, and it ain't just from COVID. I got my best friend, the coach I just finished talking about. Her husband had an aneurysm, physically fit, football coach. You know where he at now? Laid up in the bed and can't talk, can't move, can't do nothing. He been in that bed for eight years, and he ain't never getting out. You don't need to be in that bed. Do you understand me? You gonna bring yourself to that bed to keep this up. You understand me? You? Look at me. You? Uh-uh. Look at me. You be the man I raised you to be. This bullshit going on out there, whatever it is, you gonna have to let it go. You understand me? They don't pay your bills. They don't wake you up in the morning because that's the good large job. They don't put your bed at night. That's the good large job. And whatever it is they think about you, it's their thoughts. They don't have it. You don't have to respond. You know, it's not what people call you, it's what you answer by. You gonna answer to it? When did you start answering to that? 
When did you start allowing folks to make you become somebody you not? And when are you going to make you become somebody you not? Now I need y'all to be able to talk after this. Not in this environment, not under nobody else's thumb. But y'all got something good going on. But y'all both about to fuck it up real bad. And I can't put it no other way. Both of you about to mess it up real bad. God's been blessing you, hadn't he? And God's blessing you right now, isn't he? Y'all need to take them blessings. You need to say, thank you, Jesus. You woke up this morning. Thank you, Jesus. I have another chance to make a difference in this life. Because baby, when you're down there, then ain't nothing you're going to do to change nothing. You understand me? I love you to death, baby. I need you to be better. I just did what you need. You know, I love you, too. You know, I love you, too. I love you, too. I love you, too. I really appreciate it. I know. I know. All right. All right. All right. Be honest. When you and me and Phil and your friend, uh, uh, Ava and Dominique, when we went to IHOP, my friend with the locks, okay. who used to be around yeah. me all the time, did you not say that you came to the show to stir the pot? No, what I said was. But see, that's I why we can't be cool. Did, what did you hear him say? He said, I didn't say I that. I came to the show to address the that. elephant in the room. <laughs> And I came to the show. I said I want to, to address the elephant. No. Okay. Yes. So he did. I said, I what want did to, you say? I, you okay. Did, so, Phil. so no, wait. I did say I want to find out what the elephant is in the room because this was after we did go to dinner when he did not show up. This was before we even did our photo shoot. This was back in July when we were at Match. That's what I'm saying, Phil. All I said was, all I said was, the gave the green said. light. It's all I said. Uh -huh. That the green light for what? Green light for what? But I never said verbatim. That's, that's, that's I'm what I want to know. Like, what, 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 but that's not what I came here for. Verbatim, but I never came to you, Rachel, said, and said, okay. okay. I'm gonna, but she I never heard talked about what you. Said. you. And, and Avery, I never Avery, talked about Avery, you. Avery, if, I, if, I, if I said it, if I said it, it wasn't in malicious content. Oh. And I'm going to say it just like that. If I said that, that was not in malicious content. I'm a big joker. My mama knows I'm a big joker. Thank you. This is and why you may have there are it. certain things you can't say to maybe, certain people. Maybe not, listen, but I'm new to this. Listen, I'm new to this. Listen this to is me. new to I, I, me. I feel, she talking to you. Listen to me. You came to the show. I'm just going to be personal with Rachel. Feel, just talk to me about feel, that. I try, you blocked me. That was after you group texted me. All right. That was right. way I, after. Y'all got to go Wait, wait, wait. Go I again. just wanted, I want to say this last thing. Phil, if you wanted to come here and be the villain. I don't want to. But you can't, baby. I did, I'm and I'm not, owning I'm, up to everything so I did. So you said, own up to it. I own did, up, but, so I did, but I did, but I said it on hey, stage. Hey, 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 own up to it. Listen, you came here to be the villain. You did. If that's what you came here to do, then live it. Live in that. But when you, oh, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Then that's when everybody looking at you with the side out, like wait, what, what you but said. But thus far on this cast, and I think that everybody's heard it so far. Y'all said, own up to you. I said, I, I said, Trey, I own up to everything I said but on this show. you own up to the fact that you I, came here I can't, wanting to be look, the I can't, I can't, I can't go down a list you of what. Did. No so way. You I'm not lying on you, Phil. I that would never, she, I, she's, she's not lying on I understand lying. what you're saying, Rachel, but anybody. I went down, a, I can't go down a list of everything I said yeah, verbatim. Right. But if I say I own up to everything I've said thus far on this show, everything that y'all talking about, Y'all got to take that as I own it. But why do we have to own up to that when you either going to take the apology but, or you're not going to take it? But see, that's the thing, Phil. Did you apologize? And, and you did not. You, I apologize you, to Trey for everything. You Trey said, why did you attack me? To me. What did I, I do to you the, the, Does it make no, any I difference? I just want to know, because we've never talked about that. And what you I've know, done when to you somebody's personally. feelings is hurt, my it's feelings, not my job I got feelings to decide too, But I don't know what I did to you personally. I know what I did to Trey. You got on Facebook and you talked your mess with your friends that known you longer than I me. Say, I didn't say your you name, did. baby. I still got. I still got. It was a subliminal directed it towards was not. me. They
said, they said. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know what, right? You said keep my name out your mouth, but I never said your name. Okay. No, so I could have been talking about anybody. I'm not crazy every day. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not crazy. But you know what? I didn't say your name in anything. I didn't say your name in anything. I get on him all the time. He gets on Facebook and he'll post something. Hey, shut up. He'll get on Facebook. He'll get on Facebook and he'll post something. And I can show you. Next thing you know, I'm on the phone. But it wasn't bad. nothing real bad, and I, like I didn't. What I was, that was just, it was a I'm video like, of me. I know. Me. I'm gonna bring up the video. And you were you talking because, because about I, me. Because I aired the video, I am and the girl that I just told you, Latoya Dolphin, I went to school with her okay. in elementary. She said, "Not be, not you being, um, not you being, uh, what you said? I don't even not you starting shit or something that she said." So I commented back to her and said, "Well, that's what she wants to say." Or that's what she wants to think to believe, or that's what she wants to think. But how do you think that makes me feel when so I was did, the did only one? Think that me, makes me Avery, feel and I were the only two on the cast. How do you think that makes me feel when I see a video like that come out about me? To know you. That was after the fact. Listen, listen, Phil. You and I don't <laughs> never have to be friends. I want you to know that I don't like the way you move as a person and as a man. And as I'm grown, I'm not young. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's people on the cast. Listen, 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 listen to me. Just listen. I never was gunning for you. I always supported you in the beginning. But when I saw how you moved, I didn't like it. I was already portrayed as this person that I didn't like on the first. So I made sure that I kept my whistle clean this season. And I made sure to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. And when I saw the way that you moved, I did not like it. I have to say, I, I've, I heard like I've heard wait, her say that. Wait, I've heard wait, her say that more than once. I've heard her say that more than once. And she don't want to be looked at like that. Now, what I don't want to do gonna, is I don't want to go gonna back. We're going to have to get him inside. No. Okay, okay. So, okay. so if we're not going to coexist or be friends, and that's where we're going to leave it at. Be co-workers. I don't want to be in an argument about it. We're not. But be I'm telling you right now. Just be co-workers. I understand. So this is We're not going to be co-workers because I'm not coming back for season. What I'm, I'm not. What I'm, saying I'm telling is, you right now. I gave you enough rope. Yes, you rope gave me a chance. To hang but if yourself. you don't want to give me another chance, that's going to be on no. you. I cannot make you be Baby, my friend. Baby, listen. Let me tell you I something. I can. People change. And I'm just being honest. People change every People day. People do change. People do change. And maybe so, years down so, the road, so it may be different. And, and maybe it will. Right but now, we're right just not now, agreeing. So okay. we're going to so agree to disagree. To disagree. But, 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 but we're not going to be calling names. And I don't. You're talking about I get on And you're not going to be pointing feet or no. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, guys. We're no longer going to be calling names. We no longer be pointing things. You've decided okay. that this ain't gonna work. You've decided it ain't gonna that. work. So, but I need y'all to quit doing this other shit y'all doing because y'all ripping Devante into pieces. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's all I'm saying to y'all. Yes, ma'am. I need y'all okay. to quit ripping right. Devante into mm -hmm. pieces. I respect that. Yes, Never wake without a good morning Never lay down in the bed without a good night Good night Pay attention to my dreams On my knees you deliver Oh baby You do everything right yeah, we, we all say the same thing They just show the show's opposite like our mentality is, is, is about this or not. But like I, I, I have not seen anything that I've, that I've seen on the paper. It's like I'm shaking because of it. Like anything that I've seen that, all, that, that we've set for ourselves, the standards that we set for, I haven't seen it at all. Not one time at this thing. And it's, it's embarrassing. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even trying to trying to harp on anybody for for speaking their truth. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it it's, it's one thing to that, but this is it's like I I, I don't do this. And and. and I, I I can't I I wonder I can't perform I can't I would never be able to get through a performance like this.
know what I'm saying? My name is on that flyer that we posted. I can't even get through the performance. I will not be able to get through this performance, rightfully, without without making a fool of myself. My brain. Oh, I so it's like I did. This is where it, my head is not in the right place. Right now. So it's like I don't want to. I don't want to dismiss anybody's feelings or, or how they feel, but this is just not natural. <laughs> like this, honestly. One thing is to feel how you feel, but one thing is to go for go for points that, that that aren't there. We're just pulling shit out of the air now at this point, and and, and, it, and it's more so about me, me, me than it is about trying to get through this. Nobody wants to get through this. Everybody's keep saying, oh, I, I, "I wish we could have been done this." How? And, and we're acting like this for forty five minutes. So I just I, I just need a second, and then, and then I, I, I will come at you. So we're going to uh, the people in there. Are they? They're not coming. I mean, I'm just asking. No, I don't know. All right, y'all, so the black community has definitely, you know, stepped up in terms of recognizing the necessity of caring for our mental health and, you know, mental health awareness just recently passed. And we saw a few of our cast members this season deal with, you know, preserving their own mental health. And so I want to, you know, let's first take a moment of silence to kind of remember all those that we lost you know, during this season. Yeah. All right, thank you all. You know that, the fact that we lived through this, you know, that's a blessing. So I definitely want y'all to give it up now. We had a moment of silence, but I want y'all to clap it up for the fact that we're here. For the fact that we're here. You know, that, you know we get to do this thing called life every day. So uh, to see you guys, you know, on this show, you know, living in front of us and sharing that with us. I appreciate y'all for that. I really am so grateful. And I think that our viewing audience is, you know, in agreement with me on that. So Devante, my question for you is, you know, you shared some very personal moments with us this season, including a peek into your therapy session. And I want to ask you how therapy has helped you and why you think there's a, well, let's start there. How do you think therapy has helped you? Uh, it helps me because I'm able to go and just release everything how I'm, I'm feeling and not be judged or not feeling like my problems is so little um, that if I, you know, share it to anybody else, they're like, what, what you mad about that for? Or why you want to kill yourself over this? Or X, Y, Z, it's no judgment. I can be 100% honest and talk about every single thing that I want to talk about. Thank you for wow. that. Um, I want to ask. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. We got to piggyback. Let's go. The, the, the fact of the matter that you said, I want to kill myself over this. That's bigger than this. And let me tell you this right here, Devontae. Um, no, I didn't say over this. I know, I'm just over, over, any, over this any, thing called life. Any, yeah, over yeah. any little thing. That's a big ass issue. That's bigger than this, mm -hmm. my nigga. Mm -hmm. And what you put on is a big ass production and a big ass task. So for you to feel like that, let me tell you, you know, I, I, I just, I, I told a couple of cast members, I got a whole lot of dealing to deal with and I don't want to come back next season because I have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So the fact of the matter, and I ain't going to say I said it, but the fact of the matter that you felt that way is the reason why I'm not going to come back next season. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, you reach out to me every time you call me, every time you feel like that. Okay, I and appreciate I, it. And listen to me, and I, and I promise you I'm there. I, I love appreciate you. It. I love you too. All right. Devante, it seems that you put an immense amount of pressure on yourself. And I want to ask the rest of the cast, how many of you guys can relate to that feeling that Devante has of putting too much pressure on yourself? Always. Audience, raise your hands to everybody, you agree. Everybody. You know, and so the fact that you have to live that out in front of us, I think that it might it may even add to it. And so I applaud you for taking the steps to go to therapy and putting that on camera because some people will say your producer, we don't have to know that any of that is going on in your life if you don't want us to. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And but for it, you to share it, you did. Go but ahead. It, it, it exists. Right. Yo, let's, let's, not, let's not act like it don't exist. Right. Because yeah. it does. Especially yes. in black culture, black, oh, yes. black male culture, and black gay culture. Like, we're supposed to be the most resilient of the resilient us sitting in the room today. We're supposed to be the most of the most. You know what I'm talking about? Even even as mothers and fathers, we deal with a, a child that's gay and how my family going to support me because I support them. It's a lot that's entailed and comes with us just being black. And then the you black community I mean? likes to say, 
that you're not supposed to get help. You're not supposed but we to are. seek therapy. We are. But it's so important. We are. And I feel you, D. I feel you so much. Um, not to cut you off. Either. No, no, not at all. Um, you know, I battle with that too. I have. And I am in therapy myself. Same here. Yeah, same, me too. I, I, I advise everybody to get in therapy. Please do that for y'all selves. Do that. And so and so that's one of the reasons, and, and, and I'm, I'm going to cut to the chase. I told, I, I already said it before, but I don't know, before this, before we was talking, I was like, I'm not coming back because I got a lot of self-work to do myself. And I cannot, I cannot hold this, this, this ram of, 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 what we got going on and hold myself accountable. You know what I'm talking about? So, right. I love you, Devontae, but season three, I'll be there, but I ain't gonna be all the way there. So even even when, when you see me, it's like, hey, easy, I sent you this, you ain't gonna do this. I did it, I did it on purpose. I didn't, I did not answer that on purpose because I, I already knew I was gonna say no. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But like I said, I love you and I'm here. The fact of the matter you just said that is gonna make me be more here than you even know. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Fuck the cat fuck what we got going on. This uh, this shit person. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. Right. Yeah. We love y'all. We love y'all. Um, outside of Devontae, outside of um, Rachel and Easy who have just shared with us, would anybody else, you know, like to touch on, you know, the importance of mental health and you know, maybe even some of your experiences, especially with the show. Um, Bill, I see you over here. Would you um, like to talk about that? Um, being on this is not easy. So looking at us up here to other people, it may look like it's simple that we dress up or we get on camera and we do what we do and people think it's just easy and it's just something that's just through together and it's not. You have to, this man has to call and make appointments with you and then you have to shift your personal life around to make events, to make personal uh, talks with each other, to make phone calls. This is not, it's not simple, it's, it's not easy. It's, it's a lot, lot of feeling. It is a lot. That and, and that's what I want everybody to know that. Like, oh no, go ahead, sorry. Well no, I mean, you know, it's just, it's just not a simple task. It's not easy. And I understand Easy and Rachel okay. saying, you know, about going to, and thank you, Trey, um, going into the next season, they need to take a step back because they need to focus on what they have going on. Absolutely. This takes a lot out of you. It does. Um, it does. It takes a lot. Like today, we're here. We're, we had to adjust our entire Saturday mm -hmm. to film all day because we knew this was happening. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you may have other stuff going on. People have kids. People have outside lives, things that they had planned already to do, but they had to cancel maybe, other jobs, or so. other jobs that they had to do, they had to Paige is not here because I'm a grandmother. Yeah. You, you know, know it's, I mean? it's hard, it's not simple, it's not easy, so you have to sometimes make a decision on whether or not you want people to view your life, or whether you need to take care of yourself. That's facts. Amen. And then on top of the, the, the comments, Amen. the people yeah. that are Amen. judging, yeah. They Every tear you down because they don't really know you. you. Yeah. Not only seeing 30, 45 minutes of your life. Hello. And they have so much to yeah. say. Like, I, I can honestly say, Mayday and I have had many conversations <coughs> outside of production. Like, it's destroying me. And I know that sticks and stones may break your bones, but still, like, those comments are so mean. We live in a They're world, so we mean. live in that world where yeah, everything is, 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 is. Uh, televised and it's yeah. social media and yeah. and so we look at other people to say our progression of where we should be and we shouldn't do that. Normalize being your normal self yes. and it is okay yeah. to be Absolutely. how you feeling and yes, where you yeah. is. Yeah. Normalize us being for ourselves and our family and yes. getting help. And allowing okay? y'all to see who we are. And then Come also on. normalize and piggybacking off of that. Normalize that we are still real people. Come on. You yes. know, we are behind these cameras, we are still real it's people with real issues, no, with real scripted. deals. This is not a scripted show. People have asked that plenty of times. Is it scripted? Did y'all do this because y'all set it up? No. no. We may set up where we're going, mm -hmm. but we don't set up what may happen what when happens, we get there. Right. So people got to understand that too. And then you're only seeing, like Rachel said, 45 minutes to an hour of your life. And that's, that's all it. you get out of me until the next episode. That's and in the next it. episode, like, you may get something totally different, but you, you're not getting who I am per se. You're getting what you see, that and that's going to be it. And that's it. Like, like, like we all Perception. are a, a cast, but 
we might talk to one or two cast members of what's really going on in our lives, and everybody else don't know. They, and they never will. And they, they, and they, they, can't, so they can only relate to you on a human. <laughs> on they can relate yeah. to you on the experience of being on here and going through that. Trey, I want to ask you. Um, a Facebook post was mentioned where you, um, you know, spoke about wanting about giving up on life, and I want to ask you what was behind that, and how did you, you know, bounce back from that, and what keeps you motivated? Um, so I've always dealt with functional depression. Um, okay. I know how to navigate my life, never miss a beat, and still be dealing with what I'm dealing with. And um, for me, I'm never big on talking about what's going on with me personally just because I don't like people in my business. Um, and so... But normalize, not people in your business, but get that, get that outlet. Where does that come from of not wanting to, you know, outwardly express? Um, so it's a control thing um, that deals with, that stems from me being molested as a kid. Uh, mm -hmm. So you talk about that, you deal with it in therapy, control is taken from you. Um, so in every aspect of, of my, my life particularly, I control every aspect of that. And so um, <clears throat> I'll never give, I, I never put myself in a position where somebody has information or whatever they feel like they can hold over me. And so I'm just not a person um, who discusses my personal life with you unless I feel like you've earned that. You know what I'm saying? And so I had, it was like going, getting going into COVID and then coming off of, we had just finished filming for American Soul. There were no jobs lined up. So like, it's, you know, what you got going, what do I have going on next? And then there was just a whole bunch of different stuff going on professionally as well as personally. Like, and it just kind of all hit me at once. And I'm normally good about being able to bounce myself <laughs> Same, down baby. when shit is going on. This wasn't that. Okay. Because I called Michelle and I told her, sitting out in the uh, parking garage <coughs> of the Galleria in Smyrna, I'm about to drive my car right off the top of this damn parking garage. Can you talk to us about the importance of Michelle? Because there was a question from a viewer about who is Michelle to you? Uh, why is she um, so valuable? She's my business manager as well as my big sister. Um, Michelle and I have been working together since May of 2014. Um, she has literally been there since I started this professionally when I couldn't pay her when there these shows weren't paid performances traveling helping to develop me as an artist pushing me to go ahead and make the move to Atlanta because I was driving I got rid of one of my cars because I put 30,000 miles on it in a year coming back and forth down here to perform and record music and so um like that's my ride or die right there like that's it and so at the end of the day, not only we love you, Michelle. But see, she has been so present today, but definitely. See, but it's but see, to help me. So but see, I, yeah. well, see, here's the thing. Not only is is it a professional thing, but it's a it's a spiritual thing. So there's an equally yoked relationship there because that's my prayer partner right there as well. Because Amen. when I can't cover myself, she can cover me. Amen. And in that particular instance, that's what she did. Amen. She sat on the phone. Yes. She sat on the phone yes. and prayed me through it while planning to drive four and a half hours and leave her husband and four kids mm -hmm. to make sure that I stayed here to complete my purpose. So. Part of dealing with mental health and why I'm open, more open now about talking about it, you have to, you have to have the right people around you, nice. and it's good a to. Support and, system. and here's the thing: my face is the face of somebody who has the right support system around me, which is why I'm still here. Hey, 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 hey! Because it now. I've never been, and Michelle will tell you, I. If it's a way to forget, I'm going to make it work. And now. so if I get to the point, and I'm not trying to make myself seem like I'm Hercules in these streets, but for me, I'm very mentally strong, and I've built myself that way because of certain things that I've dealt with. So if I get to that point where I'm just like, okay, I'm done, I've really hit a dark-ass place. Mm -hmm. And I didn't tell her outside of me telling her what I was getting ready to do. She was able to pick up on it. That's how I told her. She could tell in the tone of my voice and where I was at mentally. Get you some people around you Come on. who can sit on the phone Come on. hours and states away and know that something is not right. Mm -hmm. You can find people to turn up with. You can find people to drink with. Come you on. can find people to fuck. Come you can love. find people to gossip with. Yes, you love. can find anything that you want to find wherever you go. Because if you're looking for it, you're going to attract it. What you need to be looking for and, and, and meditating on and manifesting and praying or however you communicate with a higher power, that you get a village of people around you, you who you can lift you up. 
and push you forward when you can't do it for yourself. Because mental health is not an I thing, it's a we thing. It's a we. And you have to have that village because if you didn't need a village, therapists wouldn't exist. Yeah. If you didn't need a village, group counseling sessions your wouldn't mama exist. And daddy you cannot get through this shit by yourself. Uh -huh. Depression will fucking kill you. Let me say this. And with, and with that village, we will survive. We will survive. We will survive. Um, before I move on, I just have to say this to you. It says a lot about a person to be able to move so many people with music or without. Like, if you were to be singing right now and performing, everybody would still be just as in awe and as amazed. But what you just said right now, without music, that's, thank you for that, what you just said. I really, really thank you. Thank you. You know, you really, really, yep. it, we don't have these conversations enough as a community. And so for y'all to recognize doing it on this platform with a million other things to talk about, to feel like it was a priority to put it on the agenda today. Absolutely. You know, I definitely feel like I want to commend all of y'all for being open and honest and talking about that. And Mark, I want to finish up this segment with you and I want to ask you about your struggles this season. You know, we saw you have to deal with losing your aunt and you know, some other personal struggles, but also interviewing people that were going through their own struggles for your being series, which you had to deal with it again. So I want to ask you, you know, about your experiences this season and where you are now. So um, this season, I didn't think I was going to be as personal as I was. Like, of course, we don't expect for family members to die, you know. So when my aunt passed away, I felt it was very important for me to just show um, that you can grieve and still work at the same time. I didn't, I didn't really have too much time to grieve. I, I, I was grieving through working. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. So that was really hard for me, and I think that's really the number one reason why I even decided to put out my docu-series because honestly I had scrapped the whole thing mm. but I came back to it because I felt like it was important for people to Absolutely. just know that um, regardless of what you go through you can get through it mm. so um, that's the whole concept for being and um, where I'm at today I'm in a much better space uh, and it just happened like a couple months ago because I lost another uh, um, two months oh, no. ago so um, I can say now I'm in a much better space and I've been okay. working my ass off. You have. And I'm excited for y'all to see what I got coming up. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Well, let's give it up for all of our castmates. Let's keep the applause going for making it through, you know, what a lot of us did. And, you know, just demonstrating y'all's strength and y'all's tenacity to live and prosper. Y'all did it. So I want to move on now and I want to talk about family because that's, of course, important to all of us. Uh, we got a specific, you know, bit of insight into the family lives of Paige, Blue, Avery, and Rachel this season. I want to take a look at how that came across. Hey, baby, how are you? Hello, mother. I am doing well. How are you? I'm going okay, son. I'm almost going back to sleep. That's about it. Oh, well, I'm glad you did because I had something I wanted to tell you. What, are you okay? Yeah. Is everything okay? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm actually leaving a new listing that I just received. That's what, hey, I'm so proud of you. Good, you good, good. I'm going to try to sit my thick body up in a chair, okay? You're not thick. Mommy! Oh. <laughs> you know what? You know how to crush somebody's dreams. Do you want some ketchup? I said no. Okay, you want some I ketchup? I want some ketchup. No. You don't want no ketchup, Jevy? I'm... What all your burgers do? I already put some on our burger. I know, Mama. Thank you for coming. Yep. Yeah. That's even. It looks good. Okay. We're getting the kitchen finished. See, then Daddy got some work in the bedroom. He got to put up some pictures in the bedroom. So that baby can have something to look at. Now. Yeah, so um, it's a week after, of course, giving birth. Oh my God, what an experience. Um, as you can see, I'm like grinning from ear to ear because like he's finally here, I have him, you know. Um, but that week, that first week was complete hell. Um, as far as just like waking up when he wakes up, um, if you don't get a nap when he goes to sleep, you won't get a nap. Uh, just putting that out there for all the expecting mothers. Go to sleep when your baby goes to sleep. If not, you will not get any rest. 
I'm not the perfect mother and I make many mistakes with my daughter, but I really am trying to break generational cycles and I do try to tell my daughter. I try to tell her all the time. Not a lot of dry eyes in the room right now. Yeah. Definitely not. So I want to, you know, start on an on a up note because I see, you know, a lot of emotions here. Um, well, you know what? Let, let's just respect where we are. Let's read the room. <laughs> what are y'all feeling right now watching that video package? Devontae, what are you feeling? Your nephew, your mother. <laughs> I know. Let's go to somebody else. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come in. Phil, what's up? Um, the hardest part of seeing this season of everybody's families, um, because a lot of these people's families are their daughters or whatever live in this area. And the hardest part for me was um, my mother doesn't live here. You know, she lives in Texas. So I'm the only one in my family to have moved away to Atlanta. I'm here by myself. I don't have family here. Um, I don't have siblings. I don't have sisters, brothers. Where they at, though? They all in Texas. But so, where are your mama then? Well, my mom's in the audience. She's, She's here today. Here though. She's this here today. Mom, mom made it today. Mom. Shout out to oh. Bill's mom in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to mom and her two best friends. <laughs> okay, best <laughs> team. Mom squad. Mama squad. Um, <laughs> um, but the hardest thing for me to see was everybody's families. You know, um, you know, it was very hard for me to move away from from my mother. Like, you know, my mother was there for me, she raised me, you know, to be who I needed to be. She gave me the tools that I needed, but leaving, not to say I even lived in her house. I didn't live in her house before I left. I did move and go to college, you know, and I graduated and stuff, and I decided I wanted to stay in another city. However, moving here was another step to my life. And so watching everybody, being able to talk to their parents and having their kids around and having somebody there with them and for them made it kind of hard for me because um, me and my mother sometimes can go, and I know it doesn't sound good, but we can go a couple of weeks without talking to each other because we're busy That's and we're okay. two separate states, two separate That's cities. Okay. But you know, when we do get the time, we talk, um, and it's very hard because I don't get to see her. I can't just drive to her house and see her every day. I can't get on a flight every day um, and see her every day. But the fact that she's here shows her determination that she, Absolutely. you know, she still has love for me and what I do as an individual. So I can appreciate her more than anything, but seeing those clips, you know, Rachel being a mom, that's not an easy task. Paige being a new mom, it's not an easy task. Avon talking to his mom, it's just not an easy Blue task. Being a mom. We Blue, see all, yeah. Blue being a mom, and, and I mean, she's got several, you know, miles to feed. So that's a hard job and a hard task, but it's also a hard task for your mother to not be able to see her own child too every day. So, definitely. Um, from one relationship with a mom to another, Avery, I want to, and he's emotional over here, and, you know, it's hard for me not to get that way either because I'm a mama's boy. And so I'll be real about it. I love my mama. And I want to ask you about the insight that we got into that relationship with your mom this season. We saw some great, you know, phone calls, and we saw such a connection. Without even seeing her face, we saw how strong that bond was. How important is it to you? Um, um, honestly, it's, it's very important because with me being the only child, I mean, I have two sisters on my dad's side, but with me being the only child, I feel like it's just me against the world. So, mm -hmm. because we, we don't have a relationship. So, you know, to have my mom there, is, it just means a lot because at the end of the day, like, regardless of whatever I've done right, whatever I've done wrong, she's been the only one that's, that's been there for me. Um, it was okay, and and didn't question, you know what I'm saying? It was just important. And then it's also important because my cousin is here Amen. from Houston as well. So and right. that really means a lot because during this whole time that I've been filming and on the show, I really haven't had support from any other friends outside of the cast or family members. Mm -hmm. So with her being here, that like it really means a lot. Um, it just lets me know that I can do anything and somebody love me. We all made that. We all made that. We all made that.
Does your cousin being here today, does that, you know, give you hope in the future for more family members to support or open their minds up and try to, you know, open or free up more time? For you? you know what? It does. Yes, it does. we love it. We love hope. Amen. I love that. And now I want to move to, I want to talk to some of my mothers in the building. And, you know, like it was stated over here from Phil, that is not an easy task. I want to go to Blue first because, um, like you said, you have, you know, three children, the mother of three small children. And I want to ask you about, you know, how you balance that with a career along with a reality show. How did you make it all work? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how I make it. <laughs> <laughs> you give them ketchup. <laughs> ketchup. Ketchup and chicken um, nuggets. And you sit that body down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, I honestly don't know how I make it every single day, um, being a single mom and doing everything that I do. Um, I, lit I just have faith that everything is going to be done how it needs to be done and i try to stay as organized as i possibly can like what you guys saw on the screen is what i have like i don't have any family not out of state not in state my children are the only blood i come from a line of single children and my mother and my grandmother passed away four years ago so after then it was after them it was just me but luckily they um they raised me to be the best person the strongest person that i could be they instilled all the tools in me that I needed to be a strong on, person babe. to carry on through whatever situation that I have that mm. faces me. On, so all I do is stay strong, not only for myself, but for my kids, because I'm all they have really uh, outside of their dad and right. dad's family. Like I'm all they got on this side. So I, I bear the weight of the world when it comes to them and I have to carry it with grace and dignity. And you do that. And you absolutely do that. You know that's right. In the words of Rachel and Avery, and do. And does. <laughs> and will. Okay. <laughs> so, Rachel, <laughs> I want to come to you and I want to ask you um, a viewer question here. Toy from Detroit wants to know if there's been a reconciliation with you and your family and if you would be open to family counseling. I have six, five sisters. I only talk to one. And she, Ashley and I are the closest. I try to reconcile with my mother and my sisters after the passing of my grandmother, but toxic is, is toxic. And sometimes you just have to set healthy boundaries, whether it be your family. And, it, and it's unfortunate, um, Ashley and I had a talk recently um, and she said, my toxic trait is having a big heart, being, being too forgiving. And so I came, I saw I conquered with my family. Unfortunately, it did not work. But my biggest goal right now is to break generational cycles and curses with my daughter. Um, I come from my mom and I carry some of her traits, but I know that I want a better relationship for my daughter and I. And I work every day to try to better it. And um, her father was absent um, from her life a long time. And we suffered from domestic violence and everything like that. But fortunately, he and I are on common ground. My daughter is actually in Chicago right now with her father. I never, I never, ever, 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 ever would have would have thought that this would happen. But he and I chopped it up. Like, when we were together, we were kids. And we went through DV. We went through domestic violence. We were kids. So, I mean, I'm not saying that it's okay, but he kind of get a pass. We, we were kids. So now we're trying to mend the wounds. And my daughter has a chance to get to know her father. That's something that none of my sisters and I got to experience. And I can see her growing, growing already, and she's prospering and she's happy. She's happy to see us come together and she's with her dad and they kicking it. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Like, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. That's all you can do. Yeah.
that they think just because you're gay or you're a part of the spectrum that you automatically do hair, you gotta sing, you gotta dance. Man, let's talk about this shit, let's, let's go. Let's go. I'm more than my hair, I'm more than my wear. On LGBTQ, you cannot compare. Let's talk about drama, let's talk about facts. Let's talk about trans getting killed back to back. Let's, let's talk go. about it, real shit, real shit. Let's talk about it, real shit, real shit. Let's talk about it, real shit, real shit. Let's talk about it, real shit, let's like facts. Go. It's time to grab wine and let's take a seat. The culture we talking is so unique. Opinions and shade are from a good place. Black with degrees, now that's the new wave, let's talk about it. Real shit, real shit, let's talk about it. Real shit, real shit, let's talk about it. Real shit, real shit, let's talk about it. Real shit, big facts. We not just the status, we not just for fashion. It come to these niggas, we don't gotta trap them. We more than some fighters, man. Some of us writers and politics with competence. We got common sense for a lot of this shit. We understand that the world ain't legit. Black lives matters until they trans man. Look at these niggas reenacting the man. Let's talk about it. Real shit, real shit, let's talk about it. About it. Real shit, real shit, let's talk about it. Real shit, real shit, let's talk about it. Real shit, big facts. I want to come to you now, and a viewer asked a question about, um, a few viewers said that they want to see more of your life. And, you know, now, hearing what we've heard, you know, <laughs> puts a damper on that. But how important is family to you, and what, um, what support would you say that your family has provided to you as you came onto the show, and outside of the show? So, um... My family has been there from day one. I love them wholeheartedly to death. You feel me? Even what I'm going through, as y'all don't know, and my sister be with me every step of the way as I as I transpire and go through what I'm going through. You know what I mean? She she like my big sister and mama at the same time. You feel me? Um, <laughs> even, even, even talking today, my mother and father both call me like, you all right, how's it going? <laughs> you know what I mean? Country ass niggas like, hey, what's going on, baby? I'm like, I'm good, folk. You good? You all right? You know what I mean? Like that. But um, um, family is, is is the most important. Like, they keep me going. If if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be here right now. And um, as much as they support me, I have to think, I have to sometimes when I feel that way, I have to read, I have to read, I have to, I really have to just sit to myself and understand what we're going through because you got people in your corner that folks don't. You know, I have to reevaluate yeah. what I'm living, you know what I mean, and why I'm going through. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's not to say that somebody else's is not, their reality ain't the same or, or, you know what I mean? Like, my reality is not oh, that, not that bad. Nah, because I got my parents and support. Nah, it is. Your reality is your reality. Mm -hmm. Your walk is your walk. But it does make me sit back and think. You know what I mean? Um, not too long ago, I was feeling the same way you was feeling. I drove home. Somebody was dead on the side of the road. <laughs> you feel me? I'm driving home. And so I'm literally like, I don't even want to be here. Somebody on the side of the road literally dead. And it just, it just, it <laughs> just reconstructs your mind. Yeah. I'm like, what the f what are you talking about? Do you really want that? No, man. Like, you have so much to live for. So with that being said, um, my family, everything. Some of y'all know my brother. Hell, the reason I got on, on this show is because my sister Paige. <laughs> Paige ain't here, you know what I mean? But my family is everything to me. Well, let's talk about Paige. I want to ask you guys, how do y'all feel about her new journey as a mom. And how do y'all oh, feel like she's adjusting? Oh, we, we love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Every time I talk to her, she talks about it. So y'all got an adopted guy, baby. Yes. yes. Our first on the way He get baby. everything, on I swear. Way, we call him best friend. Look, look, let me tell you. I be like, I be like, don't tell nobody I'm giving this to him. Right. We're gonna be the first ones to give him a chicken ball. <laughs> <laughs> me. Watermelon, watermelon. I'm gonna do the watermelon. She's doing a wonderful job to be a first time mom. Absolutely. She's she 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 was just in my house last weekend. Yeah, yeah. she handled oh, yeah. it very well. She handled it very well. So who else on the cast got baby brain? 
<laughs> cricket, cricket. Next question. I just got my ring <laughs> Give me about four years. I don't know how they're going to get here. Okay. Three years, three okay, years. I don't know how they're going to get here. I got but. about four. <laughs> four? Okay, so Easy and Trey, y'all can rear them oh, up together. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's no, not, no. Wait a minute. I don't think that's how they're going to be together. Not together. <laughs> what you're saying as friends. Y'all just support each other like Easy. Is your baby doing this? You know what I'm saying? Like that. <laughs> Sorry about it. Now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So wrapping this section up, guys, would you say that, you know, y'all are a chosen family of sorts as a cast? Would y'all all agree to that? We were all put together. Yeah, absolutely. I would agree. And we were, we were, we're a molded family. And molded I, family, okay. When I put each every, everybody together, everybody brought something different, even outside of the drama. Every story is different. Nobody a lot of people come to me want to be on this show, but I feel like they're somebody, you know, th you're not going to bring anything else besides what we already have. So everybody, nobody on the show is the same. Nobody. And even we got singers on the show. We got real estate agents on the show. Filmmakers on the show. We're not the same. We, we have our lives are different. So that was very important for me to make sure that everybody was different uh, because I wanted the show I know it's a lot. Of, it was some drama, but the thing is, like, and I'm gonna get there, even though we're not there now. Because right now, our show, I feel like it's rated R. It never was supposed to be a rated R show. I, I wanted my, no, seriously, I'm not trying to be. I'm not just on PG-13. Yeah, because I, I like I, I want my nephews and my nieces, my, and my everybody ready to watch this show and to be able to be like, Rachel did Mark Bobby. I want to do that. Trey is a singer. We was watching Flavor of Love and they had no business. That <laughs> well, yeah, middle school watching Flavor of Love. I love New York. I'm trying to decide whether I like Bumpy or Boots. We did. We was when delicious. That we when delicious came on. That's what he's here. I'm J.K. Tim Drew. We was told that. That was the movie for me. We was told that every week faithfully. But. And still grew up okay. But but that's why everybody, I want everybody to be different. Just so. Somebody who may have the same passion or the same dream can follow this person, and that's that's just. I love you know. it. But when you yes. put people I together, love it. things change. But it's still good. I love it. And so you bring us to a good closing point today, and I want to ask you know everyone before we wrap up, with y'all being part of this chosen or molded. Thank you. This molded or blended family that we have here. You know, I want to ask you guys what is next and what is on the horizon for each of you. So I'll go from this side and I want to start with Rachel. What do you have on your agenda, ma'am? Like I said earlier, I'm going back to school. I'm about to open up a suite. I'm not coming back for season three. I just got to focus on myself. I got to focus on myself. My daughter is in Chicago with her dad. I just got to really focus on what makes me happy. Mm -hmm. I, my daughter's 14, I only yeah. have one. And my whole life, whether it be the military and school and mom, it's always been centered around her. So now that I have time to focus on me, it's just time, it's, 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 it's all about me right now. I see it, I see it. More action on the horizon. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. Hire me. <laughs> hey, she said it. Oh, she and I was it. on Bean. She was on, I was on Bean. Yes. I actually opened up about the situation with Monty's dad. Um, oh, and also, y'all didn't see Monty on season one or two, really, because she she didn't really want it. She doesn't like being on camera, um, but she always supports. She loves everybody on the cast. She called all of her aunties and uncles. Yeah. <laughs> but she she just doesn't like to be on you know on camera. So I really. <clears throat> I'm finna act, I'm finna model, I'm just Rachel Kelly Bob. Sure, she don't slay. That's it. <laughs> Mayday, what's next? Ooh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I always got a lot going on. No, but I mean, I think it's more so to streamline my um, my brand um, as far as music goes. You know, I'm pretty much strictly, that's all I do, that's all I think about, that's what I do every day when I wake up, is think about music. Um, I definitely am glad that I had a chance to do this just because of, you know, COVID happened. I was touring for four years. You know, I, I didn't get a chance. I was actually supposed to be on season one of the show. So um, I couldn't fulfill it because I was on tour. But, but, um, but being able to actually settle, you know, I just turned 30 this year, so I'm not trying to be moving around, doing all that. I want to just focus on my branding and continue to do my music more 
streamlined and focused. That way I can get exactly the goal I want, you know. And until that's accomplished, I just won't, won't stop picking at it. Yes, Don't stop. Don't stop. Abram, what's next? I would just say, for me, just continuing to focus on being the best realtor I can be, the best businessman I can be, the best friend that I can be, the best son that I can be, and just kind of just growing um, personally, and then also just, you know, getting my my mental and stuff back and getting right and just, you know, just getting back together, so. Here's the getting back together. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I think can that. So Mark, <laughs> any final words or what's next? Final you got words. anything on the horizon or anything you want to say? Yes, yeah, still working. My docu-series comes out at the end of the month. I'm getting ready to start filming another project. and um, But I'm, I just learned to just slow down. I think I was like fast paced and just trying to get a lot of stuff done. But now I'm just learning to slow down and just enjoy the process and also enjoy life. So that's what I'm doing. And my apparel line is relaunching soon. And I have um, some gifts. I, cut, I came back yesterday. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I got fun. something for everybody, but of course, I'm just going to get them because, you know, they're right Thank here. Thank you. Right. But I have Broke as Funk t-shirts for everybody <laughs> from the official Mark Collection. <laughs> as you should. And, and they on sale, $40 off. <laughs> 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 hey, <that's not> <laughs> I'm going to profit off of this. Yes, come on, somebody. <laughs> Oh, I got y'all. I got y'all. I love it. Right, I'm going to wear it tonight, boo. Okay. Make sure I get one. I hope and I hope they don't turn me away in the club. Because <laughs> I won't be there, so you might be good. <laughs> All right, let's go to this side of the room. I want to start with Easy. What's next? What's on the horizon for I mean, you? You gave us such sad news, and Rachel followed up with the same. I mean, up what next else? for me, y'all just got to tune in. Um, I'm always going to be Easy. You know what I mean? I'm always going to do music. I'm always going to do parties. I'm always going to, whatever Devontae Collins say he need, whatever the cash say they need, I'm always going to do that. Um, shit, I got a lot of things going on with the cast members that we're doing, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, just follow me. Uh, E-A-Z-Y, the great, on IG. Fuck with me. I love y'all. <laughs> That's it right there. Energy. Energy. Phil, what's next? Um, well... Um, I have, am coming off of onboarding management and going into, this is my regular, every day, make the money, pay the bills job. Um, I am going on Monday, I'm starting um, claims manager for medical benefits for United Healthcare. Okay. okay. Claims. Nice job. Um, money, money. <laughs> um, on the side hustle, um, I have been flued out a couple of times and I'm still, you know, doing it for fashion styling. I am doing it still on the side, and I am also, um, I've also finally found someone to network with to get my t-shirt line out. Uh, there is a new t-shirt, uh, not just the comment section, it's the comment <laughs> section for me coming out, but there is a new slogan I've come out with that I think everybody will pretty much like. I can't put it out yet, but I will feature the t-shirt once me and the other guy gets the deal done. Um, so that's underway right now. He's in Houston working on that. Um, and I also have the new show that just came out, commentsection.tv. Um, follow it on Instagram mm -hmm. if you can. We are every Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time or 8 p.m. Central Time if you're in another zone. Uh, we are there every Thursday. And if you have a business or if you are a performer, we invite host. you because we are, or if you want to be a, a guest host, um, the show, the platform for that show is for you to shine. I want everybody to win. I want everybody to shine. I don't care what you do, if, you, if you're a choreographer or a singer or you have some type of talent or know somebody out there, DM us. Um, we have gotten people on that have been on big platforms, major platforms already, so I uh, want that. And in final closing, I do want to also apologize to um, the cast, the executive producer of this show, G, um, people in this room, if you misconceived who I was during the season or if any drama spoke up, um, regardless of whether we come out to be friends or foes or enemies or, you know, big time, I, it takes a big person to apologize. And so I want to apologize to everyone 
um, on anything that may have happened this season. I know there are people that are leaving this season, and I, I wish them well on their journey. I know there are people that are coming back on the next season, and I still wish everybody well on their journeys because Amen. everybody deserves to win. Y'all make some noise. Thank you. I want to come down to our um, second row here. And Blue, I want to ask you what you got planned for us, what you got cooking. Um, I definitely have some really big plans um, for my real estate business. I'm, I'm just taking it to another level, and I'm not um, – I'm not settling for less when it comes to myself. I have um, goals and I'm gonna stick to them. And uh, I just have like a straight and narrow path when it comes to that. Uh, also, I have a couple of group projects that are coming up. So just have to watch for that. Um, yeah. And I am starting a real estate YouTube um, channel as well. Come on, so nice. um, that's going to be released and I'm gonna do a series every week. But also, just watch my Instagram, Azure Blue underscore Realtor on Instagram <laughs> for all of your updates. Yeah. <laughs> you better plug it. You better plug it. And her name is Azure Blue. At first, we thought she was. I'm really excited for this thing. So what you got next for us, sir? Um so I have a couple of different things. Can I? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, uh um, Jalita, is it okay? I feel like it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Mark, you you can So I have a couple of different things. Um I launched my entertainment company during the pandemic. And um, I just did the first concert under my entertainment umbrella um, a couple weeks ago. I did we did the big ass house party at Apache XLR. Um, so we did an R and B a live R and B show. Um, so we did it on a smaller scale. It was supposed to be much larger. COVID prevented that. So um, now that the pandemic is slowly, things are starting to come back to normal. Um, my business partner and myself, um, we did that recently. So uh, TWM Entertainment. Um, I wanted to do it a little bit differently, but my family's watching this. So, the <laughs> and it show, well, no, the reason why I'm doing this is because I know my family's watching. Mm -hmm. uh, the letters TWM are Tally Walker McKinney. Those are the maiden names of my mom and both my grandmothers. Mm -hmm. um, I named the company that because I wanted the lineage of the women in my family to continue um, mm -hmm. for years to come. So, that's what the TWM stands for is Tally Walker McKinney. Mm -hmm. um, my mom, my dad's mom, and my mom's mom. Um, in addition to that, there's a new talk show coming um, called Let's Talk About. It. Uh, Mark and I will be co-hosting. Yes, let's pop it up for that. Can't wait to see y'all on that. And um, on the acting side of it, um, I have just I signed a, a. I've accepted a new role in a new stage play coming. Um, it's going to be my first acting role since COVID <laughs> because I did a stage play and a week later we went into quarantine. Um, so we opened, had our show, and then so this will be my first acting role. Um, bottom line, your boy's back working. You better get back on that stage and work and grind. And I have an album that I'm promoting. We did number 54 on iTunes R&B, so if you do not have subconscious, yes. I don't know what the hell wrong with you. Let's do it. <laughs> they need to get it. Devante, we come to you finally. All right. And I want to ask you, you've been emotional over there, you know, on and off. Uh, during this time when people were sharing, what's behind that? Um, It's just... I see growth in everybody. Okay. And um, like it just it kind of makes me like a little sad that everybody can't come back, even if, you know, because it's, it's a lot of work for me and Jalita and Chris. But, you know, I, I, I built a family. You know, we might not all get along. We still family. Though. I mean, no, I, I know, I know. But I'm just saying for the world to see. And, uh, you know, uh, it's just this was this was my first season even though the first season was my first season this was the first season the first season it was it was put it was thrown together i have said this several times we lost footage we lost stuff and you know it just didn't work i mean it worked but it didn't work for me uh so it's just it just makes me proud like even sometimes i have moments with jalita just like wow we really did it and we did we didn't do seven we did 14. we could have did 20. We have scenes that y'all didn't even see. You need to go ahead uh, and release the behind no. the scenes. No. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to work. You don't work no more. Season two point five. No, right. Moving on. I'm 20. done. I need a break. Um, so with that being said, I have a few things coming 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 out. Uh, well, number one, I'm not coming back for season three either. Uh, it's just it's too much, uh, and I can't. It's, it's it is a lot to deal with what they tell me and then be a cast member to remember not to say it or who I can say it to or not to say it, then it comes out and, and it's, just, it's a lot of work because 
if y'all would have seen my real storyline, y'all would have been blown away. But you can't see that because I I, it, I can't film myself every time something happens. So and I can't call Jaleed and Chris every time I feel like, you know, so because yeah. I want to make sure that these people shine. Because I someone said in the comments, oh, we don't get we don't know who Devontae is. It's not about me. I wasn't even supposed to be on season two. Uh, but move, moving past that, uh, like Trey said, we do have a new talk show coming out. Uh, it's going to be produced by uh, On The Way Up Entertainment. It's not my show, but uh, someone came to us, and we're going to produce it for them. Uh, we have Real Talk with Cortez. As we Thursdays at 8. <laughs> Thursdays at 8. Yeah, so uh, that will be coming back uh, after, the first, um, after this first episode airs. We also have Late Nights with the Lab with me and Jalita. So that's where you guys will be able to see more of me uh, and things uh, things that I want to talk about. Um, me and Jalita has about two more shows. Can, can we bring Jalita on? What? No, she, she's fine. Oh, uh, Jalita. Jalita gave a hard pass. Yeah. Oh. Well, shout out to Jalita. Shout, shout out to Jalita. G. Shout out to G. Woo! Oh get her, Chris. Get her, Chris. But, um, but outside of that, me and Jalita have a lot of film projects that we're that we're about to start. Um, and me and Mayday and Paige, and um, possibly someone else, uh, DJ, I don't know if he's still in here. Uh, I'm, yes, starting, DJ, I'm trying to put together a um, R&B group, and it's gonna be reality show style. And I look to start filming that uh, in the fall or possibly next year. Uh, and it's gonna be solely focused on music. Uh, it's not gonna be anything that you see like on the way up. It's just gonna be, and Mark, I'm sorry, I did ask Mark, Mark too, sorry. I wanted to piggyback, so I said I was leaving. I, I was going to say, DJ should be... Well, DJ, easy. You yeah. had your time. This is DJ my time. should be on. <laughs> okay. DJ need to be on here. But anyway, so I have a lot of stuff to do, so that's why I'm going to step back, because like I tell anybody, um, when I first decided I'm going to do film, reality, show was, reality was not my number one thing. And I don't want to be known just for reality because it's, it's multiple things. There's a lot of things, a lot of ideas and stuff that I have. So I want to make sure that I take the time that I need to get those things out. Not just because I don't want to be known just for On The Way Up Atlanta. Heard. Thank you. <laughs> so one of the things that you mentioned, you know, is that you're going to be putting together an R&B, I guess a super group. But we had, during the season, a super duo mm -hmm. put together a great collaboration for us. That being made a... And page and I want to take a moment now everybody let's look at the video for everyone wants to rule the world
Now that, now that so anything, wow. it was hot as hell out there. Okay? Good times. Yeah. Well, it's true what they say, ladies and gentlemen. All good things must come to an end. And so we have reached the end of our season two journey. And I want to thank my live viewer audience. Can y'all make some noise one more time? So thank y'all for joining us. And I want to also thank you. Those of y'all that are going to be joining us at home as this airs, I cannot wait for y'all to see Please it. I hope do. that y'all enjoy the show. Until next time, season three will be here before you know it. Y'all can subscribe to my YouTube page. You can go follow me on Instagram at CortezMacTV. I want to ask anybody if there's anything that you want the people to go pursue right now that you didn't promote, that you didn't tell them to go see, what do they need to go do? On the way up, subscribe. On the way up, up Atlanta. That's it. YouTube. That's right it. Now. Devante, can you point the people to where they need to go to get all their on the way up needs? You can, you can actually just go to the website. All the links are there. It's O-T-U-W. You know I messed up. That's what I was looking for. O-T-W-U. It's O-T. W. Why she's still crying, honey? It's OTWEntertainment.com. <laughs> we have casting. We have casting information there. We have. Uh, uh, so everything is on the website. Uh, you can also follow us on uh, Instagram. It's uh, On the Web Entertainment, On the Web Atlanta. You can follow me personally uh, at Devante Lamont. Okay. All right, so again, that's otwuentertainment.com. Please go there. All the links are available. And again, tune in to Real Talk with Cortez. We'll be having one of these cast members on to get ready for the reunion very soon. Thank y'all for your time. Love y'all. On the way up. On the way up. On the way up. On the way up. Y'all don't leave. On the way up. Hey. On the way up.
All on my nerves, I swear that you be lurking All on your grandma, I'm about to be lurking Cause you ain't that busy, and you ain't that booked Posting all over the gram and the book so I know that you looked Think I ain't see you double tap this, and double tap that